prepare to fight. Yeah, let's give another new phase. For I uh, in some screen time. Round begins. Yeah, Three, in -see. two, one. Fight. Here Inzi spawns go. at the rail uh, rocket launcher and he's going to get information on that pickup and even huge amounts of damage. That's over a hundred. And he's chopping for more. Chara has lost all of his stack that he gained from oh, the back. But no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scratch that direct rocket. <laughs> Mid air. One to nil. Inzi is here wow. to stay. I was worried that he would get melted, but he connects a fool on Hondo. On to Chara. Yeah, I was, oh. I was thinking the, th the, the same. Thing. Double jumping into a lightning gun is, on this range, a bad idea because <laughs> yeah. you can't really reliably return the damage with rockets. But if you hit a direct, of course you can. <laughs> Chara still shows his aggression and ties up the score lead. And the heavy is even not spawned yet, so he gets that as well. Gets a little bit of his stripped again. But he's still very comfortable stack-wise. Ability is on cooldown though. But great rocket, and that against the double jumping doom is no easy task. I think he earned himself another item. Inz drops onto it, Chara uses it as a bait, nets in a second frag. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, a consistent LG against missing rockets. Guess uh, what wins. <laughs> okay. The shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. That was a very messy fight, and messy fights with rockets favor the Doomslayer most of the time. Oh, oh no, he suicided with the flame strike. The detonation of the fireballs actually caused so much trouble for Chera. And Inz can't land the rocket damage he needed. The light armor basically saved Chera here. And it's a two for two, like, oh, Pepco, uh, Pepco, I'm saying, Inz needed to clutch that out if you go pushes for an aggressive play like this. He could have maintained the high ground as well. <laughs> it, it's such a great map, Graphic Keep. Everybody plus forwards in the first few minutes. Because it's just easy to, uh, to refrag, right? Uh, the spawns are predictable. The routes are... And everybody knows this map so well. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, Chera gets a great frag, but, uh, well, <laughs> it, it isn't that big. He did get the heavy and now uh, a few health bubbles. Wow. Chera. Yeah. <laughs> and we but somehow, Inz wins it. And, I mean,. It's been so, such a back and forth with, of hitting direct mid-air rockets and, and crazy stuff like this so far. But Inz vacates the area and leaves Chara the heavy armor. He stacks back up elsewhere on the map and the stacks are basically even. It doesn't really matter. And if he's got good position onto this and uses his weapon advantage as well, there's no way Chara gets into that mega. And this is what happens, and what we just saw. And now he uses the double jump to great effect, dodges so much rocket damage. Yeah, and there was no the flame strike. still has a huge amount of strength. Yeah, it's cooldown still. The heater is on cooldown. Stop watch. But the, now it's uh, on fire, but it's not connecting. Oh, but it's is using rockets in an LG fight and uh, his rockets are missing while the LG is connecting. Oh, and he even dies right off spawn. So this is the first time that they don't trade and uh, Chera gets the lead. Chera has a solid stack as well. Even more solid after that green armor he slaps onto his chest. And he catches off Inz and wow. he doesn't even put him on fire because all three flame bubbles hit direct and push him out of the flame trail. Not enough damage uh, from that rocket for Inz to justify pushing for that item, but Inz's stack is great nonetheless. Chara utilizing the greats to tickle with the LG and not just tickle but also get a frag just as, as the item spawns. Very great for, for Chara. Yeah, and uh, Inz does the same thing. He disappears uh, on the map. 
did gave a sound cue, uh, but not much damage. And now he has the rocket launcher. He's wow. <laughs> he wanted to go for the mega health, but got pushed away. And now, yeah, we see that the double jump. Yeah, isn't that effective uh, when you don't have any weapons and you are fighting against an LG? Look at the utilization of the hitscan weapons here. Shara, perfect weapon switch, dealing so much damage with lightning gun and heavy machine gun there. Nets himself an 8th frag. And this game, for, for the first time after 5 minutes, is kind of stabilized now for Shara. Huge damage again from the flame strike. But Inz is still in a good position for that item. He can't drop though, he's too weak. And yeah, Chera gets the item. The flick shot with the shotgun. Nine frags. And frags. And Chera kind of found his stride now. It seems like he started to read Inz's play a lot better. And. Also, the lightning gun for Chera is dealing so much damage, which is a clutch weapon against the Doom, and he keeps... Yeah, he can choose the distance of the fight because he has the better arsenal at all the time, and despite getting hit by a lot of damage like this from a rocket, he is still in a great condition. Oh, huge nails, but the lightning gun just does a bit more damage. Yeah, and it looks like me that Inz also stopped dueling. He's just uh, right after the spawn. He just rushes with the weapon uh, he has. He uh, does not really collect the tools you need in a duel fight. So he's just using rockets and Chera is evading those. While uh, Chera has all the tools to deal the damage. And, uh, yeah, look at the lead. Chera's... What? Because of this... Uh, that Inz was just rushing into him with only rockets. Yeah, Inz put him in a situation where if he didn't hit all the shots, there's no way he's winning that fight. And this was another one of those situations. If he didn't hit all the rockets direct, just <laughs> there's no way he wins it. And Inz calls not even a GG. He vacates the area. Yeah. <laughs> and Chara starts off the, uh, the scoring on maps. Yeah, we had a, a a close game until the six minute mark. Yeah, somewhat around there. It was back and forth, and nobody really could maintain control for longer than a few seconds. But then Charam get some clean frags, a rotation going, and from then on, it spiraled out of control for for Int. Now. We are on uh, Chera's map pick as well. Deep Embrace. It's looking grim for Inns, if you ask me. Yeah, Galena, Galena. versus PJ. It's a, it's a matchup I uh, haven't seen that much. So. Definitely not one of the usual matchups for this map. This matchup would rather fit into Corrupted Keep as well. <laughs> But yeah, I'm rooting for Inns, right? So then we get tiebreaker. Yeah, tiebreakers are always nice. The world needs more tiebreakers. Hmm. Uh, Galena seems to be harder to pull off on Deep Embrace than on other maps. So, so I, I think champion-wise, Inns has a chance. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fight. Starting out on Chera. Gets the rockets, the railgun. And he's not. Oh, now he's. Uh, yeah, covers his totem placement with a rocket shot. Huge damage, but the damage from Inns is even better. Both players still have some resources to pull back on. And Inns is the one cleaning up the totem right away again. Get, collects himself a rail, and now we are back to square one. And now we start dueling as well. Death all players only. have all the weapons. I will not grant you now it's a fight for position and stack. And Inns 
does the first strike and gets the mega, but runs into a totem as well. Chara now is blocking the entrance to the next slide and also to the heavy. So if Vince wants to do damage, he needs a rocket jump, but he doesn't because he doesn't want to sacrifice Stag and Chara is still blocking the other light. So with that control of the high ground, Chara is actually doing quite a good job. Oh, the rocket bouncing and it's not enough. Chara forces his way onto the item and picks it up mid fight. It's, yeah, a, it's a bit of a uh, continuous uh, story arc, right? Uh, it's yeah. trying to hit with rockets, while Chera is just doing the damage with, with LG. Uh, but yeah, um, still enough time on the board to make something happen. And well, yeah, in spawns with only an LG, so it's the only weapon he can use, but. Yeah, Chara just rotates to the Mega Elf. It also does great damage into Hintz, who has not any armor left. But he hits a <laughs> clutch rail. And that yeah, is now outstacking uh, Chara by quite some margin. And wow, he uh, I'm starting to get angry. seals the deal before the heavy pickup. And he knew how weak Chara was, stack HP wise, so even the pickup of the heavy wouldn't save him from the rail. So he held that angle. That was a great read from, from Inz. Popping the dual wheel, I think it was a good decision, but he was just a bit too late around the corner. Unfortunately for him, the items are at the same time, so it looks like a trade unless both players decide to go for the same item. Well, maybe no trade. Because we have lightning gun against rockets again, but in the end, Chara pulls out his rockets as well and gets the third frag on the ball. It's not railable. Rail missed as well. So does the jump, but huge rail from Chara. And Chara now picks up another light, so the mega health is not as valuable for Inz. Yeah. Wow, he does uh, <laughs> hit a streak. And now he tries to seal the deal with the rocket. Hmm? What? No. My. My winners wants to shut down. Then uh, again, huge opening with the rocket, but then they just stop hitting and Terra gets the item. It gets removed though from the lightning gun and. I need healing! Despite all the pickups. Shara is so weak, only the totem and the 50 health just kept him alive there. Huge rail defensive, but now he's out of that uh, weapon ammunition. And Inz is trying to force a fight, but Inz can't find him. Shara's dancing like a master around the pillar. In the end, the rocket comes out on top and Inz gets finally the flying frag. Huge rail off the start. And this means that Shara's raidable, but also dual wield lg -able. <laughs> As Inz gets in the lead. For the first time of this map, now he's the one that's out of railgun ammunition, but he's uh, soon about to change it. And Tara's still lacking that weapon. So yeah, sorry for the FPS drops, Mark. <laughs> but I got a notification that your Windows is shutting down in 10 minutes, so uh, I needed to uh, cancel that. Uh, but yeah, great. Inch is in the lead. And it's uh, having the upper position, but yeah. yeah he also stabilizes <laughs> now. He forces a spawn at the railgun, which kind of favors him, but taking that rail does strip all the control he had away from him. He now can stack back up before Chera is able to push him another rail into his face, but Chera pushes two rails into his Five minute warning. face. And well, gets the frag back. If if Inz would have get that got that mega, there would have been such a huge play for the Russian. Oh, both available. <laughs> Mexican standoff. Oh, thankfully for him, the rocket does not connect. So Inz uh, can retreat with the heavy behind his name. And now, yeah, just switch to lightning gun. Uh, for just once and seal the deal <laughs> but again he, he's going for rockets this time around 
it does connect. And Chara <laughs> isn't feeling his mouse. Yeah, that self rocket from Chara there definitely didn't help this case of not dying there. But this rail will help. And I think Chara has the total overstack established. And he gets the heavy as well, but the dual wield LG against the rail that is missing close range is gonna win any day of the week. There we go, totem over stack removed, but so is Ince's life. Five seconds until the item, Chera should be fast enough to make it over. And Ince hears him and knows that he doesn't have the weapon to show up there, so he does not show up. Chera is kind of pissed that he didn't get the item on the first try. Yeah, because he's really not so he the it. <laughs> Yeah, and not only that, the try bowl doing so much damage despite the totem overstack being established once again for the first time now two totems are being removed two rails from chera and the heavy pickup the end mean nothing three in a row can't finish off the kill just yet last totem is going to be removed but this is surely going to be a frag for chera if not i i wonder how i wonder why yeah i think chera oh the tribal though yeah it scares him away but there is a mega health for him waiting and no now even Ince is uh, equaling the stacks, especially now he had the light behind his name. Or no, he picked up the heavy. Oh, he gets spotted somehow. Chera smelt DJ behind the corner. But Ince has the better stack to fight with. Yeah, for days, and he's blocking that light armor, and look how much punishment Shara is receiving for picking that up. And still has the heavy to fall back on. He just chops for some damage beforehand, maybe even pressure the mega and reverse the timings. No, he's not pressuring, so he's still offsetting the, the items a bit, and I think Shara didn't hear the pickup. Chera now is speeding by and runs into Inz's trap, takes huge amounts of damage. No armor to his name, Inz is looking healthy and Inz can pressure for a frag or even lock him up in an area which is out of resources. But he, yeah, he kind of shops for a kill and gets railed for his troubles. Chera oh. with the railgun because he had no other weapons basically. So the rockets clutch it out and oh, huge rail again. And now Inz returns the favor of Chera hitting all the rails a minute ago on the same location. And Chera stepped standing. Chera needs a reboot. And Chera left the game. Decider, yay! Yes, a tiebreaker. Yeah, great play by uh, both actually. Oh, no. Ince gets this one. Celebrates with some... Uh... Fireworks. One minute warning. Uh... Is Terra still on the server? No, Chara uh... left. Terra's rebooting his computer. Oh? If this happens in ranked, then... Uh server shuts down right usually it doesn't in custom games as well hmm. i don't know why it doesn't now <laughs> imitating uh tox speaking of tox tomorrow we have uh the quake challengers on this channel starting uh, from two o'clock central european time and Tox uh, has signed up. So it's we... Toxic, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Johan Toxic, click. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Johan Toxic, click. Indeed, Porky. Indeed. Uh, okay. What, what, uh, what just ha quick... I, I, I want to make a joke. I want to make a joke. <laughs> what happens when Tox is on the line? I don't know. Something with... <laughs> Click. Go ahead. Click. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, that, that, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, no. Wait. We first have to uh, <laughs> thank <laughs> Spinky Enemy for the follow. 
Yeah, thank you. It's uh, your show now, uh, Lack of Eins. Okay, so for the last map, we have Awoken, and Chara's on the Struck, Ins is on the Visor. This is for the for a spot in the winner bracket of uh, Estotti number 32. Oh, quite a, quite a, a lot of Estotti's already. Indeed. Uh, uh, 30, 32 to be exact. This is the 32. Two yeah. Second. Oh, 40 seconds. <laughs> 32. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's the tooth you get when you turn 30, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, while we wait for Chara to uh, rejoin this, we see a very one sided prediction, and it's. All for Chera. One guy is so confident that Chera is going to win. And nobody says Inz is going to pull it out of the head and makes it to the winner bracket final here. Uh, our camera. Watching our uh, emote. We paid uh, good money for that one. Uh. Niasse. Niasse. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Like I'm not not uh, not trying to um, to harm your decision, but rather that nobody else said that Inz is gonna uh, gonna win this. But yeah, draw it again then, uh, if uh, people still want to vote. If people want to vote, but it doesn't seem like most people want to. Anyway, we are loading the map now. Yes. The flower power rail gun in Visor's hand against the standard machine gun for Chara's Trog. Hmm, yeah. The Strog has the speed. But Visor has the information. Uh, we got a tiebreaker, huh? right? Yeah, I didn't set the score. Prepare to fight. Round begins in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fight. Yeah, let's start with the guy on the rollerblades. Rockets is the first thing to pick up to be picked up. A railgun is the first thing to aid for him. And Inns wants more damage. Can't connect with the final rail. But he's hunting for damage. Picks up a rocket launcher himself now. But they kind of just uh, go apart and, and go their way for now. But Inz is shooting rockets around him like a madman. He definitely wants damage on Terra. And with not much separation over the items, unless we see one oh. pushing like, like Inz does right now, wow. we're going to see a uh, divide between the items again. But no, Inz bullies his way in. Gets the reward, make that a second one, one frag lead, and Inz is starting on fire here. Yeah, the damage came out of nowhere. Was it a real shot or a rocket? It was such an opening into that fight. And yeah, Chara is still worse for wear after this fight. Mm, Inz might be chasing him into a major item if he's uh, not careful. Side Still shopping for damage, but he isn't connecting his shots, and there's some tickling on him. While Chara gets the mega health. So yeah, Chara is uh, also in a healthy condition for uh, the next fight. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If the Visor uses uh, the visions, uh, he knows all the ins and outs. Yeah, and he also knows that Chera 
was about to pick up the uh, Mega Health, so he tried to mitigate as much as he can, but Chara is punishing him for that a lot. Good clutch rail, and another clean uh, item for, for the Russian player, followed up by a huge rail, make that two through the murder hole. Can't find the third angle. Inst dodges that rocket and just avoids another rail or another damage, but Chara does the ring around Arosi as well. And there we go, Chara's in the lead. It was uh, so beautiful. He uh, did the quick 180 to uh, look where the enemy is, but oh, now he's getting uh, a lot of damage from uh, Inz. With the starter machine gun. No! Aw, oh, Inz gets deleted by a rocket drill combo. Well, the yeah. Well, uh, the start was really for Inz. Uh. Oh. I mean, yeah. Sarah is just. Yeah, but it's also typical from Inz, right? Just trying to use rockets against a chasing enemy and not connecting the shot while the enemy has LG height. Yeah, it's the bane of uh, Inz's matches for, for this time for sure, I see. Oh, and the Mega just saves him for a bit, but Chera hits another rail and this man's rail is definitely on fire. Hitting seven rails and having three impressives is... <laughs> It's, oh, it's also say, right? not, not fair when Chera uh, uses rockets. Everything connects. <laughs> he even jumps out of the swim. map. Oh. Inz jumps inside of the swimming pool and Chera is just not stopping. Uh, it seems like Chera uh, found an eighth gear or something in his uh, gearbox somehow and put that in. And the engine is just running. Uh, I need to save chat for all those uh, name puns. We might uh, <laughs> use it some days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I did notice one mistake from your uh, you like revivals. You said uh, that um, Strock has uh, roller blades, but he has a butt slide, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry that I told you wrong information yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so funny that, yeah he he, he got oh. crouch slide but not the animation <laughs> but uh, wow uh, Inz is getting uh, some well, at least a frag oh no and the rail again for Chera and Chera is not railable but Chera answers back with another rail oh, that I... guy's hitting close to 60% and there's not much you can do again when your opponent hits all the rails in the world. What the fuck can you do? Literally. He hits 15 rails and 12 of them were back to back. Like this is 180 damage with little to no chance to pick up anything in between. So it's 180 damage to your fucking stack. Like you cannot do shit about it. This is such a game changer in this game. Chara's rail is just insane. But there's your rocket. Hundo. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, covered, it covers up for a bit. A good bit. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh no. the, the, the all important tip of not giving away easy angles. But uh, yeah. Like. Oh. Man, Terra overstayed his work on the but he can like use frags as currency to just deal damage at the moment. He has so much, such a huge lead. And even though Visor is a fast guy, Inz is never gonna be as quick as Chera on the map. And yeah, if Chera continues to get frags, there's there's just so little that Inz can do to to pull this back like it's not just in his own hands this is what i'm saying but now he makes it work he needed to sacrifice a lot of stack again with the rocket jumping because the stroke is just so quick a direct 
um, Pika hit doesn't help as well. And now Terra falls into the lightning gun, but hits two back-to-back -back rails again. And the reoccurring theme of how important that that is just keeps on going. I think that Inn's weapon selection was correct, but if the opponent just hits more, you can't do anything. And yeah, despite that, well, yeah. Shara has more than a uh, thousand HP he more healing. So it's it's like, even though they are close in damage, subtract thousand damage from from, uh, from Inz's damage count, and that's, that's more realistic, basically. Yeah, you could withstand more damage if you can get to the items, but that's also not possible the way Shara is playing. He just has a whole map on lockdown. Yeah, and Inz calls it. Oh, I, I, yeah. I think the pickups are skewed because he left the game. Because looking at the pickups. No, the pickups are correct. Okay. Didn't show that much in favor for Chera, actually. Yeah, not in terms of mages, but in terms of light armors and health bubbles. And of course, the Stroyans of Strog. If you have 15 frags, that's 15 strides to pick up, which results in 15 times 25. I'm not a calculator, but it's a lot of HP, basically, you're going to get. <laughs> that is a fact. Yeah, 